Yum. Where's the gelatin? Holy I thought that was done. We have 30 minutes. The original plan is to thicken the bouillabaisse broth with gelatin, so when you charge it in the ISI, it comes out nice and frothy. You know what? Skip gelatin, add some cream. Cream and soy milk. I can't put in the gelatin because the stock is still on the stove. It still has the bones. It's not done. I had a vision going in, and now it's just all up. I need 10 rabbit all day. Okay. A little more broth. OK, a little more broth. broth. Runner. Runner. These are judges. Josie, I think that bouillabaisse had an enormous amount of flavor. My problem was I barely got any of it. You know, Kristen helped me plate up your plate. So, um, you know, <laughs> I did. I would have served it with more broth, but it's not my concept, and it was not my menu. And jo um, Josie, you thought there should be more sauce on the plate. Did any time you tell Kristen, I think there needs to be more sauce on this plate? No. Why? Well, because she showed me how she wanted it plated. There's um, a lot of things that would have been done differently. Absolutely. And Kristen, originally when you envisioned the dish, assuming that when you were putting gelatin in it. No gelatin. Why that not? was. I would have made it a brothy. <laughs> I mean, I would have kind of, you know, stuck to the original idea behind the bouillabaisse. Josie, you're safe. Kristen. Please pack your knives and go. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. I understand that people want to save their own asses. I get it. I do too, but at least I know I'm going home with my integrity intact and without backstabbing anybody else. Do you have another quesadilla coming, Howie? How is Bulldog? It's not smooth about anything. He doesn't communicate well to anybody. Wow, what a mess. And Sarah's just kind of like drifting off and helping here and there, and she's only plating like three or four burgers at a time. Teamwork's not so good on Team Orange. I, I really didn't feel like we were getting the full load pulled by Sarah. I do have to say that. There was no food coming out. If she was putting the burgers in, they were going in three or four at a time, and we don't have time for that. I'm just learning about all this. I did not know that this was even going on. You're the, you're the baby of the team. You're the baby of the house. Everything is... It needs to be done for you, you know what I mean? And it's, and, and, and that's, and you know what? I mean, if. I think that's a little extreme. If you're gonna call me out and say that I'm the reason that you didn't All right. carry your that's weight, enough. then. That's enough. What's enough? You. Sarah, please pack your knives and go. I'm making the cheese course with Tellaggio cheese, which is a really funky cheese. Delicious. It's not to everyone's taste. It's going to be an open-faced sandwich with raw pears and smoked pear puree. I really hope the judges get the smoky flavor, sort of a flavor punch in the face. Just do a light smoke, eh? It's gonna be good. Max, that dessert just kind of came up and smacked you in the face when it arrived on the table. It was so strong, so pungent. Taleggio is a beautiful cheese. It has a place at the table. It was just kind of off-putting as it arrived. And then the strongest flavor on that plate was that smoked Asian pear puree that had a really aggressive flavor of butane. What was the process for smoking that Asian pear? Uh, taking jasmine tea and using one of the smoking guns and feeding the smoke into the container, letting it sit for about 15 minutes, then stirring it. I personally thought that it was uh, balanced. Did everyone try that? Uh, Paul was the only one to try it before it got smoked. And then I don't think anybody tried it after. Paul, how come you didn't try it after? You know, I think that uh, I put some trust in Max, for sure, uh, just like I did everybody else. I didn't treat this as though it was a kitchen that I was opening with a bunch of chef de parties. I treated this as a kitchen that I was opening with a bunch of seasoned chefs. Max, please pack your knives and go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Can you do you know? Can you get, just do another batch and put them in here and just bring them to me in the bag? These are for our tacos that we're building over here to the left. Did you make these tortillas? We did not make the tortillas. Okay. okay. 
what do you think of Keith's enchilada? It's a flour tortilla, which if it's an enchilada, it should be corn. I grew up here in Texas. I've eaten enchiladas my whole life. I never do enchiladas with flour tortilla. Sarah, it is a team challenge. Did you say to Keith, we usually do enchiladas here in Texas with corn? I did not. I am not here to boss everyone around and tell them, your dish sucks, your dish is great. I don't want to be that person. If she had an opinion about something, then say that. This you is... love driving the bus, hitting people. We had an army of corn tortillas. So no one ever suggested to you to use corn tortillas? Not at all. No. Okay. Even though this is an individual competition, we were working as a team. Keith, during the prep, you weren't talking to anybody. I could go back, I would change it, because this is the last place I wanted to be right now. Sarah, or Lindsay said to you, I think you're making a mistake by using a flour tortilla. You would have listened to them and, and used the corn? Sure. Keith, please pack your knives and go. Thank you for the opportunity. Cheese, where's the cheese? Huh? Cheese, right there, cheese. Oh, sorry, sorry. I need to lay out the plate. For 30? Yeah, I got the... I'm gonna need a lot of help then, girl. Yeah, I am, I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Tanya's energy next to me is negative just to be negative. I can't even ask her for something. Ugh, I just give up on her. My only concern at this point is making sure that I finish my pork belly before time starts to windle down. Did you not have time to put the last component on the dish or you forgot? No, I didn't have time. I got to the end and I asked Tanya for something and she was like, I felt a little like taken back that I shouldn't ask. I ended up just kind of banging out the dish as it was. Did you guys talk about yeah. helping each other? Yeah. So why did you feel you couldn't ask for help? Um, I, I think it was just an under, like, the breast comment that uh, was made as I asked for help. And it kind of, I, I don't know, it caught me off guard because we had talked about the tag. No, I got a different opinion of this. I gave you so much help. I got behind because I was helping you. But I was going to tag in to help you as well. But you Tanya. didn't. I, but you didn't. Tanya, can I hear your side of the story, please? I think it's the first time you've ever had a no at the judge's table. I told it. Are you upset because you didn't get the help you needed, or are you upset because you didn't cook the dish? I'm not upset for either of those reasons, Gail. Don't project that on me, I'm not. I'm trying to just read the story. I can think of a really well-rounded dish I could have done in 45 minutes, and that would have been really comfortable for me. But I, you but know, you I'm, I'm... it. <sighs> I'm a team player, and I know Claudette feels like she helped me, but like, I did a lot of things for you. You did three. And I asked you, like, just to go get me a pot, and you gave me attitude. And I just felt like, you know, our teamwork kind of fell apart at that point. Tanya, please pack your knives and go.